I found that I call these artists, some of these artists, microwavable artists. They want a quick fix. They want to just make some money to get out of the ghetto, get out of the situations. But not realizing, my years of experience being in the industry, I find a lot of artists find a way out of the ghetto, but just to go back into a bigger ghetto. Because the songs that they written were songs that was for, the, for, the, for that period. But there's no other songs to support their lifestyle or their habits for the future. Yeah, but also, record labels don't allow artists to be creative anymore. Well, that's when a, a record label need manage. See, I found that the real managers, like, see, I have all respect for Michael Jackson's father. I got all respect for Beyonce's father. I got a lot of respect for, for, for Ike Turner. And and why those play why those people so I, I respect them tremendously because a Michael Jackson father would go to the record labels and tell them specifically what he wants. Beyonce father done the same thing. Ike was a little crazy man, but <laughs> Ike basically knew the path he wanted to take. But when you get involved with drugs and stuff like that, yeah. it takes you off your path. But however, if you look at Beyonce today, a lot, a lot of the groundwork, um her father did and her mother did is what sustained her to this day. She is banging, got the mind of a diamond, sharp as a razor, and she look hella good. I mean it, I really would. Look, girl, I've been hurt ever since you stepped out. Can't eat, can't sleep. Damn, I've been stressed out. Thinking about our mistakes and why I even went this route. At this moment, it's too much to figure out. But I'ma get you back, though. You can't get away. Cause our love is something we can't throw away. I want you back bad. There's nothing left to say. I love is one jump shot that can't fade.